Covering City Hall in Jacksonville, fast action from City Council, but action causing some confusion. Last week, council members filed two bills which are set to appear on tomorrow night's agenda. The bills appear to do the same thing in response to anti-Semitic messaging projected onto buildings. The response to anti-Semitic messages projected onto a building in Jacksonville, it seemed unanimous, outright condemnation from several Jacksonville City Council members. We're getting all these hate messages all over our buildings, and it's just disgusting, and it's, it's time to stop it. Well, I think my thoughts were like everybody else. They're, uh, they're despicable, they're cowardly. And we are going to call it out for what it is. And we are not going to allow this to happen in our city anymore, period. Members of city council seem to be taking sides, though, even on an issue all say they agree on. Matt Carlucci attended the bill announcement outside CSX. He supports the bill filed by Leanna Cumber a week ago. Councilman Carlucci sent this letter today complaining that council rules were circumvented and disrespect shown to other members. Part of it says it is a disappointment to see council members undermine the work of others, especially concerning an issue of such importance to our city. Later, Carlucci says, in the spirit of professional courtesy and statesmanship, I respectfully request the withdrawal of the bill 2023-0044. City Council President Terrence Freeman led a news conference the same day as Cumber's news conference last week and briefly addressed the dueling bills. We have an issue that was impacting our city. We have a, we have a process and a plan now to address it, and it's going to be addressed. Who gets the credit? That shouldn't matter. That shouldn't be the story. The story should be that we are not, as a city, we are not going to stand for hate speech to be acceptable in our city. And that's what's most important to me as president. I reached out to President Freeman tonight and asked for a response to Carlucci's letter. He said in a statement, It's a shame that in a moment of a unity with the mayor, sheriff, and 13 of my colleagues coming together in support of Bill 202344, that Mr. Carlucci has chosen to play politics. We should be focused on condemning anti-Semitism and standing up for our Jewish neighbors, not self-righteous grandstanding over who gets credit for what. It's unclear what will happen tomorrow night when the bills are read and potentially voted on in the meeting. City Council's normal meeting begins at 5 p.m.